Hello, welcome to another podcast of Portuguese with Carla, podcast 10. I'm Carla Sabala from Portuguese with Carla and once again I have the husband with me. That would be me. Yes, Mr. Marlon Sabala. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I should apologize um, for the audio quality is slightly... Uh, different. Yes, well, different. Might, that might be a good is- description <laughs> of it. Um, we, we are not in our usual studio. We're actually in Portugal. Yes. Um, and as Carla said, this is podcast number 10, 10 right? 10, yeah. So if you want to access all the details for, for the podcast, including the transcript, uh, the YouTube video and some other goodies as well as a link for all the other podcasts, then you would go along to portuguesewithcarla.com slash podcast 10. portuguesewithcarla.com slash podcast 10. Lovely. Let's uh, introduce uh, our guest because we happen to have another guest today. And this is a third Sabala. Wow. This is Ida Sabala. Hello. Diga-nos quem é. Eu sou a mãe do Marlon. Sou a Ida Sabala. Oh. That's lovely. So this is Marlon's mom. So you heard her in the podcast before, maybe podcast five, five but uh, it, she sounded a little bit different. That was little fun. Yes. Yes, she was on the phone, so it wasn't as clear. Yes. But anyway, we, we, we carry on from the theme, from the same sort of... Scene last time, scene. yeah. So my cousin Liliana was playing a waitress uh, at the restaurant. Um, obviously, she can't be with us today, so we have... Um, Dona Ida Sabala playing the waitress, playing that part. So shall we get straight into this? Yes, yeah, by all means. So my mum's going to start us off. Ok. Ok, mãe, quando, começa, quando quiseres. Então, estava tudo bom? Tudo nos trincos, obrigado. Vão desejar café? Sim, dois, um cheio. E assim que puder, traga também a continha, se faz favor. Sim, sim, trago já. Ora, aqui tem os cafezinhos. O cheio é para a senhora, não é? Sim, sim. E aqui tem a continha. Xiça! O que é que foi? Enganaram-se. Não, mas cobraram-nos por meia dúzia de azeitonas e duas fatias de pão. Vá, tu não sejas mão de vaca. A senhora foi tão simpática. E não te esqueças de dar gorjeta. Olha, deixa aqui 20 cêntimos a mais e já vai com sorte. Tu não me envergonhes. Mete aí esta moeda de 2 euros. 2 euros? Vá. Ok, that was lovely. Now we want to say thank you to Mama Sabala. Muito obrigada pela participação. Obrigada. <laughs> e quer dizer adeus também? Adeus, bye. <laughs> Já aprendeste o inglês. Thank okay. you. Tchau, mãe, obrigado. Tchau, tchau. We Beijinhos. might see you next week. Ok, so let's, uh, let's help the audience understand what we just yeah, said. Yeah, let's eh? break this down. Uh, yes, so the first line, uh, and you must, uh, I'm sure you, you're able to tell that the sound is now much better. <laughs> We're yes. back Good to our old studio. Okay, so uh, the first line from the uh, waitress is, um, so, was everything okay? Was everything good? Então, estava tudo bom? Tudo bom? Estava tudo bom? Então, estava tudo bom? Ok, so I, I say, yeah, everything was great. Thank you. Tudo nos trinks. Obrigado. Mm-hmm. You might not have come across this expression before. Uh, it's a fairly common expression in Portuguese. Yeah, you can... Um, Yeah, you can use it when you want to say that something uh, is as it should be, like the food in this case. Um, but there's a very similar expression when you want to say that someone uh, looks looks great, looks good. So you would say, uh, estar nos trinks. Yeah, okay. There's an interesting etymology behind that word. Uh, yeah. Or at least there's a apocryphal story about it. Uh, some researchers say that it comes from a, a French word, trangle. Uh, meaning rod or some sort of ob- uh, an object that the old tailors or um, clothes merchants used to um, hang their new clothes on. Uh, so then when you want to say that somebody looks good because they, they're well-dressed, they look elegant, they, they look good, then you say that um, eles estão nos trinques. They're on trinques. Yeah. Okay, so let's try and pronounce that. Trinques. Trinks. Nos trinks. 
And you would never say you are drinks. You are on drinks. Okay. News drinks. To do news drinks. Everything. To do news drinks. Obrigado. All good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so then, yeah, the waitress asks if uh, you are going to um, um, wish, desire cafe or coffee, literally. Um, so that really means, um, do you, would you like coffee? Would you like some coffee? Café. Desejar café. Vão desejar café. To which I replied, yes, two, one, four. Uh, and that means a double shot uh, of an espresso. Because when in Portugal they ask you, or you ask for a coffee, just like that, un café, they uh, will assume you mean an espresso. That's a normal coffee uh, in Portugal. And a lot of Portuguese people ask for a double shot because a single one um, can be very, very little right just yeah. like you you said yeah yeah it's it's very it's like the, the tiny little cup they, that they give you yeah. well they only put a third of that of a third or half of it, it. So, but mm. you wouldn't say double shot really you wouldn't say duplo no you just say full yeah shave so a full little uh, whatever that's called in english uh, not a cup but a miniature mug yeah some sort of mug uh, so yeah so i said yes to one full sim dois Sim, dois. One full. Um cheio. Um cheio. Okay, excellent. And now I say, well, could you also bring the bill, please? Uh, or as soon as you can. Yeah, as soon so as say, you're able. Yeah, as soon as you're able, as soon as you're able, bring uh, also the bill, please. Okay, so that's the um, the translation if you yeah. do it word by word. The bill is a conta, and you will notice that on the transcript, and uh, we said a continha, uh, that's a diminutive. So uh, basically, the little bill. We have this tendency to do that with most words, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So let's try and say that. Continha. Continha. Também a continha. Também a continha. Traga também a continha. And a bit before, as soon as you can. Puder. Puder. Assim que... Assim que puder, e assim que puder, traga também a continha. Se faz favor, and I abbreviated it, se faz favor there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't, but there we go. Se faz favor, I'll, I'll uh, make sure I uh, correct that, at least on the text. Okay? Yeah, do you want to say that line again and uh, allow sure. some time for them to repeat after you? E assim que puder... Traga também a continha, se faz favor. And again, we, we also encourage you to, as soon as we finish this slow uh, grinding through all these sentences, to go back and try to do some shadow, uh, shadowing, so listening to it and saying the words at the same time. Along with it, uh, yeah, along with us. Do. Okay, so yeah, I did ask you to say the sentence and allow some time for them to repeat, but you said oh, it. I, I'll go back to it. So it's, uh, e assim que puder, traga também a continha, se faz favor. Okay. Yeah, time. Yes, I think so, Good. I think so. Right, and then she said, uh, yes, yes, uh, I'll um, bring it already, or I'll bring it soon. There comes the ja again, which we use yeah. for everything. Mm-hmm. Sim, sim, trago ja. Trago já. Sim, sim. Trago já. Okay. And okay. here she comes with a little um. Do you want to do her coffees? line? Well? Uh, no, you can go ahead. No, because the next line is mine anyway. Sure. Yeah. Then after, okay. 
So she said, um, right, so here you have the little coffees. Uh, the full one is for the lady, lady, for the madam, isn't it? Or for the missus? How would you say this in English? The uh, full one is for... For the lady, say. Yeah. Uh, and here you have the bill. Again, the little bill. So she said... Uh, the, la the very last line. E aqui tem a continha. A continha. Tem a continha. Aqui tem a continha. E aqui tem a continha. And here you have the bill. And the line before that, the full one is for the lady, isn't it? O cheio é para a senhora, não é? O cheio. O cheio é para. O cheio é para a senhora. O cheio é para a senhora, não é? And the very first line. Ora, aqui tem os cafezinhos. Os cafezinhos. Aqui tem os cafezinhos. Ora, aqui tem os cafezinhos. The whole thing. Ora, aqui tem os cafezinhos. O cheio é para a senhora, não é? E aqui tem a continha. Ok, good. So, I uh, look at that bill and I say, She's... Uh, which is an expression of amazement, irritation. In fact, when you look at uh, the... Uh, the equivalent to the Urban Dictionary, but for Portuguese. It uses this um, this uh, explanation um, or definition. It says it's a popular expression. I'm, I'm going to try and translate this. Used by people of a lower Class? literacy level oh. <laughs> to demonstrate irritation. <laughs> right. It's, true. it's not something you would hear in a, in a posh um, ball or... Um, a conversation between leaders of a certain country. Um, no, but, but it doesn't common. have to be only used by people with a low No, no. Level. Uh, there's many ways of saying it, but I think it's uh, important that you're aware of, of this one because it, it is often used. Mm. I think so, it is. She said. It's pretty easy. She said. She said. Okay, so I wonder what is wrong. Uh, and I ask... O que é que foi? Enganaram-se. What was it? Or what is it? Did they, uh, did they make a mis made a mistake? So, enganaram-se. 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 Did they mistake themselves? Literally, that's what it means. Funny that, is it? Isn't it? Just one word in Portuguese. Yeah. O que é que foi? Or, o que é que foi? What is it? What's wrong? What's the matter? And yet, we actually have it in the past tense. But the equivalent in Portuguese, uh, in English, would be in the present tense. What is it? O que é que foi? Or, o que é que foi? Enganaram-se? Okay, so I say no, but they're charging us for half a dozen uh, oh. olives and two slices of bread. And now why would I say that? Um, if you've, I don't know if this probably happens in other countries, but a few people that I know while visiting Portugal were surprised to, to see that whatever they put on the table right at the start. So you sit down and they bring these starters mm. uh, or appetizers. Sometimes it's already there, isn't it? Or yeah, do they yeah well, like, maybe. But they normally, from my experience, they bring, in, they bring it in when you sit down. Okay. 
so often that includes some olives, uh, some some sort of um, bread yeah. and butter or things like that. And, and you will pay for that if you, if you <laughs> yeah. eat it. You don't have to. Um, so if you don't touch it, they won't charge you for it, but you will pay for that. Yeah, if you take a slice, take it all. <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to charge you for the whole thing. Yeah. All right, so uh, I say uh, no, but they charged us for half a dozen olives and two slices of bread. Não, mas cobraram-nos por meia dúzia de azeitonas e duas fatias de pão. So slices of bread, fatias de pão. Break that a little bit further. Pão. Here comes the nasal sound. Pão. Ok? Slices. Fatias. Fatias. Fatias de pão. Two. Duas. Notice duas, not dois, because fatias is... Duas fatias de pão. May I just pause there? Actually, if you if you um, are used to going to um, the link uh, that uh, is connected to a particular podcast, you will notice that there's always the um, flashcards exercises over there in the games. And we've made sure that whenever there's a flashcard for a particular um, word... We always put the article behind it. Um, the so reason, you know if it's yeah. masculine or feminine. Exactly. So if it's a uh, something, then you know it's feminine. If it's u something. So in this case, a uh, fatia, you know, the slice is feminine. U pão, you'll know straight away that um, pão is masculine. It's really important that whenever you learn vocabulary in Portuguese, you straight away start to memorize the gender of each word because some of those um y you will never there's, there's no rule as such um there, there is a, if if a word ends with an a eh, more likely than not it'll be a female if it ends with an o it's likely to yeah. be a male or, or there are many exceptions masculine. there are many words that end That's with an problem. a there are masculine words yeah but yeah, the general rule is that words that end with an A. And if you think of Portuguese names, a lot of Portuguese names uh, for ladies end with an A. Carla, Ana, um, Mariana and Maria and so on. You know, you can associate that A at the end with um, female, uh, feminine words. And the same goes for uh, words that end uh, with a no. But then we have words like pão, P-A-O. So you have, if you have that uh, diphthong at the end, the two vowels, A, O, some will be feminine, some will be masculine. You just have to learn them. Yeah, and this is why we always recommend that if you uh, are writing a, um, a vocabulary notebook, which you should. Always and... use the definite article, the O or the A, or even in a plural form, because we also have that, don't we? Yeah. Ush, O-S, Ush, A-S. So, duas fatias de pão. Say that after me. Duas fatias de pão. And then half a dozen olives. Azeitonas. Azeitonas. Ok? Azeitonas. So, half a dozen. Dúzia. Dúzia. Meia. Half or sock. <laughs> Meia dúzia. Meia dúzia de azeitonas. Got that? Let's do the bread. Meia dúzia de azeitonas e duas fatias de pão. Good. And a bit before. Mas cobraram-nos por... Ok. They char charged us, again, they charged us all into one word. Mm. Cobraram-nos, can be tricky one, eh? Cobraram-nos. And again, cobraram-nos. Mas cobraram-nos. All right, and looking at that text, let's do the whole thing. Repeat after me. Now. 
mas cobraram-nos por meia dúzia de azeitonas e duas fatias de pão. Ok? Yeah. So then I say, come on, don't you be tight-fisted. The lady was very friendly. And don't forget to give her a tip. So that va is the equivalent in English of come on. Um, it means, literally, it means go. In the, um, um, what's the tense? The imperative tense. Va. Yes. Go. Uh, come on. Tu não sejas mão de vaca. Don't you be a hand of cow or a cow's hand. That's what it means. And uh, that expression also goes along or comes from uh, the expression mão fechada, closed hand. And uh, in English it would be tight, tight fisted, uh, fist, uh, yeah. So mão de vaca. So let's do that. Vá. Tu não sejas... Tu não sejas mão de vaca, mão de vaca. The lady was so friendly. A senhora, a senhora foi tão, a senhora foi tão simpática, friendly. Simpática. A senhora foi tão simpática. And don't you forget to give her a tip. E não te esqueças de dar gorjeta. Tip. Gorjeta. Gorjeta. Dar gorjeta. Don't you forget... Não te esqueças. Não te esqueças. Não te esqueças de. Usually that esqueças is followed by de. And don't you forget to give her a tip. E não te esqueças de dar gorjeta. Whole line. Vá. Tu não sejas mão de vaca. A senhora foi tão simpática. E não te esqueças de dar gorjeta. Ok. I just noticed that on, on the video you might not have tu, but you get the idea. Mão de vaca. I, why? Why? What do you mean, tu? It's just the, the text. There's a slight mistake there. Um, why um, a cow's hoof? Why, why would that be associated with being... Stingy or cheapskate. Well, some say that they're not able to handle anything because of, you know... Well, they can't grab anything? Uh, well, I suppose, can they? <laughs> well, no, I, I guess not. But uh, some, I guess some cow's hoofs are quite close as well. Okay, quite um, tight. Like... So you couldn't, you couldn't take anything off them. Maybe that's... We're trying to make up etymology as we go along. Uh, it's not yeah. very well. No. <laughs> okay, so I, I reluctantly will leave a few uh, pence with them. In this case, cents. Deixo aqui 20 centimos a mais e já vai com sorte. So I'll leave 20 cents extra, uh, extra and... <laughs> and she'll be lucky. And she'll be lucky, yes, that's right. That's an easier one than I thought it was going to be. So, mm. vai com sorte. Literally goes with luck. Uh, okay, that's a calc, by the way. Have you heard that expression before? I learned that not It rings ago. a bell, yeah. I think you may have mentioned it to me before, but right. I can't remember. Uh, so, what a calc is, imagine a calc as being a. It's the Google translation system, sort of, they, they translate word by word. Yeah. Uh, Without Literally. taking into consideration any, any grammatic expressions, yeah, any grammatical changes from language to language. So, a, in English, for example, a calc would be a uh, long time no see. Right? right. So, when you think about that that uh, expression, long time no see, uh, it makes no sense grammatically in English. Uh, you you put the verb at the end, 
uh, the verb is never at the end. English is an SVO language, uh, subject, verb, mm. uh, object. Um, but it, it, apparently it's a um, Mandarin expression, which grammatically in Mandarin, uh, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but people just used the direct calc in English. Anyway. They, right. So they picked up on a, a foreigner's... Um, expression and this translated yeah, it. Word literally. By word. Anyway. So uh, don't you use calcs. Uh, they're not good. They make you look uh, foreign or sound well, like foreign. Well, you know, if, if if all you want to do is to be able to communicate and you're not too fast. Yeah, I'll... you can do better. <laughs> yes, uh, I always encourage you to, well, encourage them all to to speak uh, properly or, you know, as, as well as they can or as close to a native would. I think that's good. And that's what we've tried to do with with English. Sometimes we make the odd mistakes. I'm sure oh, yeah. uh, you guys I, have I, picked up on that. I'm but uh, we keep cops, trying. Through, okay, so uh, vai con sort. So luck. Sort. Hmm. Sort. Vai. Vai con. Vai com sorte. Já vai com sorte. So I'll leave 20 cents. 20. 20. 20. 20 centimos. 20 centimos. 20 centimos a mais. 20 centimos a mais. Mais meaning more. So, deixo aqui. I'll leave here. Deixo aqui. And the whole thing. Deixo aqui 20 centimos a mais. E já vai com sorte. Alright? Yeah. So, um, I say, don't you embarrass me. Put uh, there this coin of two euros. Don't you embarrass me. Put there a coin of two euros or this coin of two euros. Tu não me envergonhes. Envergonhes. Tricky one, I think. Envergonhes. Não me envergonhes. Tu não me envergonhes. Mete aí. And quickly we might say, mete aí. Mete aí. Esta moeda. Put there this coin. Esta moeda. Mete aí esta moeda de dois euros. De dois euros. Yeah, you would never really say met a. Met a. Met a. Always met a. Okay, so I just say dois euros. Hmm. And, and and you say va va. Come on, go on, do it. <laughs> there you go. Yes, lovely. Okay, okay. I think Great. that is that is pretty much it. So I think I just said uh, lovely again. I keep saying this word. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> All right, I was gonna say, um, no. in relation to podcast uh, number two, if you have you listened too. to it, yeah, um, the other day I decided to listen to it, and I just wanted to mention briefly what. <laughs> so it was a long time ago. <laughs> yes, uh, but I noticed that um, I um, explained the verb ficar as. Uh, um, uh, its main meaning in English um, has become. It it does translate into many different um, verbs in English. To keep, to be, to become. But its main meaning is to stay. Yeah, ficar translates into um, stay, mainly. But oftentimes it can be translated uh, into uh, become, to be, to keep... To look, even. And probably a few more. Right. Very good. Okay. Okay, so as always, we recommend, highly so, that you head over to talk... Uh, 
<laughs> talking was... Apple, talking Apple. What is this, Marlon? You keep stumbling over these yeah, well, words. I used to do a podcast about Apple stuff. So anyway, yeah. uh, that was a long time ago. Portuguese with Carla dot mm. com slash and this is podcast 10 okay so that's slash podcast 10 you will find um a, an audio quiz there this week about um somebody trying to give directions to get to continent continent is um if you live in the uk um uh, or the equivalent Morrison's like morrison's equivalent. tesco's as this if you live in the u.s uh Ooh, <laughs> I can't remember any. No, there's the whole, is it Whole Foods? What's that? What's yeah, that place? Yeah, Whole Foods, but that's, that's the organic one, isn't it? Not, that's not the mo. that's not a... Uh, we got our Morris. friend the bag from there. She wanted us to go there, remember? Walmart? Walmart? Yeah, I think so, isn't it? Costco, although Costco is more... No, not Costco's, yeah. Anyway, th this is, we're displaying our... our I'm sorry. A very limited lack of... <laughs> American, knowledge of uh, u.s supermarkets shops. right uh, anyway what was it what was i going to say oh yes um an audio quiz i think and i've labeled this audio quiz as intermediate i think it's slightly easier than the ones you might have heard before that. well yeah we have to let the students make the judgment on that okay, <laughs> so give it a try and I've, I've also included some instructions as to how to do this so go through it once see what the result is listen to it again with the uh, correct words in front of you and then do the quiz over again, okay? Um, we should mention also the YouTube channel, Carl. Mm, yes, so we have mentioned this before, but uh, our podcasts will be available, and a couple of them are already available on uh, YouTube. You have the transcript to follow along, and you, uh, if you want the link for it, is um, youtube.com slash Portuguese with Carla. Okay. We should also just apologize for last week not having a podcast out. No, uh, we, we recorded we, a scene. We, we did. We, we had to travel. to do it there and then, didn't we? But we had to travel sort of last minute. There was too um, much going on. But yeah. Um, what but else? Yeah. What well, else? we've recorded the, two, the, the, the next two podcast scenes, haven't we, over there? So you will notice uh, uh, the different audio quality. Yeah. But it should still be clear enough. So... Um, Check out those things if you uh, do want to get these automatically delivered to your uh, device, then please subscribe on iTunes or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, then you will get all those things uh, directly to you. As regards the, uh, we mentioned them earlier, the flashcards on, on this particular episode, uh, again, slash podcast 10. We're also including now a direct link to Quizlet, which is where we host our, vocab our vocabulary um, flashcards. Why would you perhaps want to go to the direct link on Quizlet? Well, uh, number one, uh, you can still use them on our website, which is fine. But if you have the direct link to Quizlet, you can use um, the them. flashcards that we prepared with different games, some really cool ones. And Quizlet has an application on iOS and Android. So you'll be able to practice on say, a waiting room or something like that, you'll be able to access um, all our flashcards natively on your device. That's great. Okay. So um, I guess we should put the end jingle, should we, in that car? Yeah. And say and, goodbye. And uh, say goodbye to the folks. Okay. Till next time. All right. See you next week. Ciao. Bye-bye.